since 25 years ago, the history of uh, serotonin modulating drugs uh, has started uh, focusing the research on uh, drugs that could limit uh, the vomiting uh, uh, derived from uh, uh, chemotherapy. Now this research is focusing also on IBS, on irritable bowel syndrome, and uh, we will speak about that with Professor Spiller, the former director of Nottingham Digestive Disease Biomedical Research Unit. Uh, Professor Spiller, why serotonin could be important also in IBS? Serotonin is a very important molecule in the gut. Most of it's actually found there and its release by food and by bacteria stimulates secretion in the gut and also movement through the gut. Uh, now the, uh, its ability to change movement through the gut uh, makes it valuable in the treatment of functional bowel diseases. Uh, now in particular the uh, irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea is characterized by very fast transit, by abdominal cramps and by loose and watery stools. Uh, and antagonists of serotonin, particularly uh, receptor 3 antagonists, can uh, uh, alleviate many of those symptoms. So they slow transit, they make the stool better formed, they reduce the sense of urgency, which is very important in uh, irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea. Uh, and they can relieve pain as well. And they are already used with, with the success in therapy? Well, uh, one of the things I presented today was um, the trial with Ondansetron. The original drug that was developed for IBS with diarrhea is Elocitron. And Elocitron is, was highly effective, but unfortunately it produced some side effects which meant that it was withdrawn. The side effects uh, are those of ischemic colitis, and it's probably unique to the molecule. It's probably unique to a, a, a losetron. Uh, Ondansetron has uh, been around for 25 years. It was developed as the treatment uh, for vomiting. Uh, we've used it for a long time. We know it's very safe, and it's never been associated with ischemic colitis. So I presented data on our trial with Ondansetron, which showed that it was highly effective. 77% of our patients preferred it to placebo uh, compared with 17% who preferred placebo. And the number needed to treat was just two. So it's a very effective drug uh, when used in the right way. Uh, it, well, there's one thing worth mentioning about 5-HT3 uh, receptor antagonists, and that is that there's a very wide variability and sensitivity to the drug. And importantly, in our trial, we allowed dose titration, that is to say we allowed the patient to choose the best dose for themselves and that I think produced much superior results. Well, Dancetron is an antagonist, serotonin antagonist. What we could say about the serotonin agonist? So 5-HT3 agonists have been developed. Uh, they cause uh, looser stools and can be used as a treatment for constipation. And 5-HT4 agonists are also uh, widely marketed now for constipation. So uh, Tegacerod was introduced, uh, and then that was uh, superseded by Trucalopride, which is uh, an effective treatment for constipation, and it's pretty widely used. Again, pretty safe uh, and a useful addition to our drug uh, therapy for IBS and for constipation. Uh, but uh, Odansentron and other drugs of this class and uh, uh, Precalopride are, are already approved for IBS or not yet? Uh, no, Odansentron needs more clinical trials with multiple centers to be prove proven effective. Uh, Precalopride, yes, that's been uh, subject to ooh, nearly half a, nearly a dozen trials and is licensed for use in both the US and, and Europe. There is another drug you have focused uh, your attention, is a, a, a tryptophan hydroxylase inhibitors. Uh, what, what you could say about uh, this, uh, this yes. class? So, so um, the synthesis of serotonin in the gut is limited by the amount of this tryptophan hydroxylase enzyme. And there are specific inhibitors of the tryptophan hydroxylase within the gut. So uh, the advantage of these drugs is they only affect the gut, they don't affect the brain, where there is also important amounts of serotonin. Uh, and they have been shown to be effective in people with IBS with diarrhea, in whom there is good evidence of an excess amount of serotonin within the gut. So uh, in the patients in whom it was effective in lowering 
their turnover of serotonin, they got good results with uh, successful treatment of urgency and loose stools. In which clinical phase are these type of drugs? So this has uh, been through phase two and uh, I guess it's progressing through phase three. And you see a good future for, uh, for these drugs, uh, for precalopride, for a dance you, So you see that uh, uh, acting on uh, uh, serotonin in different ways, in different manners, could be useful for this type of patients? Uh, yes, I definitely think they will be useful. And I think there's an, also an exciting uh, area of interest now in the role of diet and microbiota in controlling serotonin release. So we're learning that bacterial metabolites control serotonin release in, in the gut and so an alternative to a drug therapy would be uh, modulating the diet to alter the microbiota and change the release of serotonin in that way. So that would also be attractive.